welcome to today's video in this video i'm going to continue looking at square roots and cube roots and in today's video i'm going to look at perfect cubes okay so i'm going to look at perfect cubes and these are numbers which are considered as cubes so in this video i'm going to define what a cube is and i'm also going to show you how you can uh, find the cube root of a perfect cube and i'm going to demonstrate how you do that so watch this video up to the end let me start by describing what a perfect cube is so a perfect cube is a number whose cube root is a whole number so a perfect cube is a number whose cube root is a whole number okay so that is a perfect cube the for a number to be considered as a perfect cube it should have a cube root which is a whole number okay now let's look at steps you follow when you want to find a cube root of a perfect cube okay so the to find the cube root of the of a perfect cube cube not square there should be a perfect cube not square to find the cube root of a perfect cube okay uh, one write the perfect cube as a product of a of prime numbers write the perfect cube as a product of prime numbers then the second point is the second step is you sort the the, the, you sort the prime numbers you have found in two three identical groups so once you have expressed uh, the perfect cube as a product of prime numbers then you sort the prime numbers in two three identical groups okay once you have done that the next thing you need to do is uh, you find the product of the expressions in in groups and then the cube root of the perfect cube is the product of any of the groups so once you have found the you have expressed the the perfect cube into a product of prime numbers then the next thing you need to do is you sort those uh, prime numbers into three identical groups once you have done that, then you find the product of those identical groups. If you have formed the identical groups, I'm sure the products will be the same. Uh, then you will be finding the same number. Then one of those numbers is a, a cube root of the perfect cube. Okay. Uh, let me show you how you can find the cube root of the perfect cube. Okay. So... The question is find the cube root of 729. I've picked 729 because it's a perfect cube. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to write this number here. Okay, once I've written this number, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be dividing this number by the smallest prime factor of this number. Okay. I'm going to divide this number by the smallest prime factor of this number. So when we look at 1, 1 is not even a prime factor. So it's not a prime number, so we are not going to look at 1. When we look at 2, 2 into 729, it can go, but it will leave a remainder of 1. 2 is a prime factor, but it will leave a remainder of 1. Uh, one so we are not going to use that so going to find another number which is the next prime number is three so three can go into that and it won't leave a remainder so i'm going to use three so i'm going to write three there then how many times can three go into 729 it will go 243 times then when you multiply three by 243 it will give you 729 Okay, so I'm go now I've found one prime number, which is 3, which we're going to use to multiply to get 729. So I'm going to write it here. Now I'm going to 
express 243 as a product of a prime number and a number okay so uh, 2 can go into 243 but to leave the remainder of 1 3 can go into 243 without leaving a remainder so i'm going to use the i'm going to use 3 so i'm going to write 3 there then 3 into 243 it will go 8 one times okay then i'm going to write it one like that if you multiply 3 by 3 by 81 you're going to get 729 okay then i'm going to write the three prime number the two prime numbers i've found which is three and another three so i'm going to write them in advance then i'm going to write the three the, those two threes there then once i've done that then i'm going to look at uh 81 uh, 2 can go into 81, but it will leave a remainder. So 3 can go without leaving a remainder. So I'm going to use 3. So I'm going to say times 3. Then 3 into 81, it will go 27 times. So I'm going to write 27 like that. Okay. Now I've come up with the three prime numbers, which are 3, 3, 3. Okay. So I'm going to rewrite them in advance like that. Then I'm going to say which number can go into 27, the smallest prime factor that that can go into 27 or the smallest prime factor of 27 so 2 can go there but it will leave a remainder so i'm going to use 3 again so i'm going to say times 3 3 into 27 it will go 9 times so i'm going to say times 9 okay then i'm going to write the four prime numbers i've found which is uh, those threes then i'm going to say which number can go into 9 2 can go but will leave a remainder 3 can go without leaving a remainder then i'm going to use 3 then 3 into 9, it will go 3 times. Then I'm going to multiply by 3. Okay. Now, as you can see, I've come up with the, an expression um, uh, an expression where I have only prime numbers. As you can see, the whole expression is just 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. Okay. So I've come up with 6 threes. So 6 threes, when you multiply them, they will give you 729. If you want, you can try. Now, I have expressed 729 as a product of prime numbers. Okay? I have expressed 729 as a product of prime numbers. Okay? Now, once I've done that, then I've achieved the first step, which is write the perfect cube as a product of prime numbers. So, I've done that part. So, I've expressed 729 as a a product of prime numbers the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to group them in two three identical three identical groups so i'm going to put these numbers these six threes in two three identical groups that means i'm going to put each group is going to have three by three so like this okay so each group is going to have three by three three by three three by three Okay, so that is each group will have uh, three, two numbers which are being multiplied, which are 3 times 3. And another group also has 3 times 3. And the last group also has 3 times 3. Now here, these numbers which I've circled, I have put them in three identical groups. Okay, now when you look at these numbers, they will give us the same product. If you multiply 3 by 3, it will give you 9. So, let's try to see if they will give us the same answer. So, let's start by multiplying first a group, which is 3 by 3, will give us 9. Then, we go to the second group, 3 by 3 will give us 9. As also we're going to say 9 multiplied by 9. 9 multiplied by 9. Then, the last one, 3 by 3 will give us also 9 which is 9 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 9 okay now we have come up with the identical products as well we have got the same product which are products which are 9 okay so this 9 is the same as this 9 as the same as this 9 so that is we have gotten the uh, the same answer then we go to the third step which is the cube root of the perfect cube is the product of any of the groups so the product of any of the three groups is the square root of 729. So we can just pick one number, one nine, and write it down. So we can write it like that, nine there. So we pick nine like that. 
that is the square root of 729 okay therefore we can say 9 is the cube root of 729 9 is the cube root of 729 so basically this is how you find the cube root of a number if you have got questions you can ask us in the comment section we'll be glad to respond to them and if you are you happen to visit us please remember to subscribe and also like our page so thank you so much for watching it has been easy learning z mathematics the future is bright see you in the next video and god bless you